Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes, part sand in action. I got a couple of them done. I got my big rudder done, my elevator, and I just kind of sanded and sanded and sanded till I didn't see no more little shiny spots. Man, them dudes are flat. I use that real firm block and kept changing the new 220. Okay, people, when that sandpaper gets dull, when you're wanting to get something flat, you got to get it out of there. Just new stuff. Sandpaper's cheap. That's the best word of advice I can give you on that. Now, guess what? What showed up today? Oh, yeah, a little package from Chart Pencil himself. We got some landing. Well, this is just my mange. Just one of my mains. Man, pretty bubble wrap. Well, he wrapped him up nice. I figured it just going to be put in the box. Now, this is one of my F4 tires and rims and brakes. It's like a four inch tire, but it's a bit small. <laughs> Looks a little bit small on there, but it still shouldn't have very much more. And just some long old struts. That's good. A nice big set screw on that. I like that. Man, they went, they went right on there. He didn't have to just a little filing. This it worked out good. Now I can lay up a set of wings. But I'm going to stick to these parts. I'm going to get all these parts laid up first. Right? I'm going to stick to my plan. All I need really is a template off these. Even if I could need to send them back to Paul. I'll uh, have my template. Bam! Look at that. That's a long old strut, man. And they rotate. See them rotate. They go in their wing crooked, but if they don't rotate, they'll stick out of the wheel well. Bam! It's a bad old set of gear right there. Nice and thin, so they'll fit. All right, now this is our elevator mechanism. Bam, look at that. See this will mount, there's two bulkheads. Right there in the back. This will mount on both sides of them. Stainless steel tube. Check. 
short old ball links. That's solid setup right there. Seen it? It rocks. See how it rocks? You guys see that? I guess the question is, yeah, it'll be another one we'll have to move that far. Because it's got a rock. The real one's rocked. I set up on that ball bearing. That's nice, man. No slop. One of them on each side. Bam. 87 11s. Stainless steel tube. That's not even tube, that's solid stuff. And we'll just drill a hole in there. And that'll give us a T. That'll go inside our elevator. That's nice stuff. That's nice stuff right there. What you guys think? Think that'll hold up? And then we'll bolt it. One of them two bulkheads. Just this will stick out of the side right next to it. That'll go inside. Just like so. Should be well clear of that pipe. Tell you what, Paul, I'm going to uh, make them bulkheads. I got a template. And uh, just to make sure these. Uh, clear our, our tailpipe and everything I'm almost positive they will that's only that thick right there and uh, see a couple screws that'll pull out easily removable I think it looks good what y'all think now the landing gear their cylinder ain't mounted yet But it mounts right here, and it's a pretty simple setup. No, it mounts. Where does that mount? Not somewhere. He's got it figured out. But uh, we need to uh, get it in the wing so we know where to put it. A little bit stronger spring. That's nice, nice work right there. We'll get it figured out. We'll get it figured out, people. We'll get there. So, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Bob TV. I'm going to get back to sanding my parts and uh, start drawing some panel lines this evening. And uh, sand them tomorrow. Tomorrow Saturday. Shoot, we'll be molding by Monday. Get the last of these parts molded up next week. Bam. We're time to build us a Thunder Chief. Get it in the air. So, tell them people. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next.